Hi everyone, this is Grace Linrena Estrada and welcome to my YouTube channel. For today's video, we're gonna talk about how communication breakdown. But before we proceed to our main topic, let's talk about what is communication. So communication is a process of exchanging thoughts, ideas, and opinions in order to connect with other people. It is a goal is to achieve a clear and effective understanding resulting to a good relationship in the community. However, there are times when this goal is not reached due to certain factors. When this happens, there is a communication breakdown. The elements involved in communication are important in the success or failure of this process. These were the same elements, sender, message, receiver, feedback, and etc. can pose a threat to the efficiency or effectiveness of the process. Communication breakdown may occur when problems in any of the elements involved arise. They become barriers to communication. Simply put, communication breakdown results when the intended message of the sender is not understood exactly by the receiver. Barriers to communication are present. Recognizing the barriers or obstacles to effective communication is important in order to avoid communication breakdown. Here are some of the barriers that may cause communication failure. We have four kinds of communication barriers well, noises is classified into three different kinds. First one, we have physical barriers. Physical barriers are the natural or environmental condition that act as a barrier in communication and sending the message from sender to receiver. Here are some examples. People talking too loud. Noise from the construction site. Loud sound from a karaoke, blaring of jeepney chords. Second one, psychological barriers. Psychological barriers are called as mental barriers. These refer to social and personal issues of a speaker towards communicating with others. Examples, trauma, shyness, lack of confidence, depression, fear, and stage fright. Third, cultural barriers. Cultural barriers pertain to communication problems encountered by people regarding their intrinsic values, beliefs, and traditions in conflict with others. People's culture affect the way they communicate and relate to others. Example, different beliefs, tradition, and customs, manners of dressing, speaking. 4. Linguistic barriers. Linguistic barriers pertain conflicts with regard to language and word meanings because word carry denotative and connotative meanings. They can sometimes cause confusion and misunderstanding. Meaning of the word and symbols are also depending on culture. Examples. Difference in language, accent and dialect, use of jargons and slangs, speech defect and language impairments. We have three different kinds of noises. We have external noises, internal noises, and semantic noises. So let's talk about first the external noises. External noises are the sight, sound, and other stimuli that draw people's attention away from the intended meaning. Example, noise from vehicles, singing at the neighborhood, visual aids in front of the classroom, the dog barking, the sound of airplane. Second one is internal noises. Internal noises are the thoughts and feelings that interfere with meaning. Example for that is confrontation with a friend, fear of speaking in front of the class, Racial rigidize. Last but not the least, the third one. We have semantic noises. 
Semantic noises are the alternative meaning are grouped by a speaker symbols. This idea means that a word may have another meaning in minds of the students. This is effective by a language in which they grew and the culture in which they are exposed. Example, incorrect grammar, using excessive technical jargon, using dramatic expressions. Function of the communication is to understand one another. Those barriers and noises tend to do the opposite of the essence of the communication. Recognizing them will lead to us in effective communication and it will bring us a peace and order in society. That's all guys and I hope you learned a lot from me and this video is for academic purpose only. Bye! See ya! Siguro may wala nang natira sa mga sinulat mo na para sa akin Alam kong luha ang bumupura